Okay, V12 Life, here we go, part two. Um, I finally got the, the nerve to take this thing apart, and it was not as easy as I was hoping. It was very difficult. The parts are very frail. I broke some of the plastic pieces, but I saved it for the most part. I think I can still waterproof it. So um, I used a screwdriver. A heat gun, which heat gun was kind of, I don't know if it was a good idea or a bad idea, but it made the parts too soft. And when I tried to push my little fine screwdriver through it, it broke or it would pierce it. So I stopped heating it up and I was able to pry it. Um, there's a space when this is on here, when this is on here, there's certain points. And when this is sitting on it like that, there's certain points where you can get your screwdriver in between and pry it like that. But not every place has a part to do that, and that became very difficult. One side had more spots than the other. Let me see here. Sorry for the poor video here. I'm trying to help. This is for an 05 S600 Mercedes Benz. See, when, when, I, when, when the plastic part was on, I was able to get right up between there and pry it. And that would pick it up. It was that way. Yeah, like that. And that would pick it up because it was leaning on the inside here on the, on the little circle, the cutout. Whatever you call it, it's leaning there. The same thing for the next one. There's one, and there's two, and I think here I was able to do it also, and the clips would break. You know, I'd turn them sideways just enough to get them off of the prong, and they'd break. But I didn't lose all of them, and I think if I heat it up and push them back, maybe they'll hold. Never done this before. Yeah, the poor man rich car show. V12 life, baby. Mercedes Benz S600. I'll let y'all know how it goes. Now I have to pull out this thing here and resolder it somehow in there. And I gotta figure all these little screws out. You know, there's not very much footage of this stuff on the internet. I'm sorry, I don't. I'm not the best uh, videographer here, but I'd like y'all to see all that. This is the ignition coil for the driver, driver, yeah, driver side or left side of the car. This is a good twelve hundred dollar item, um, seven to eight hundred dollars if you find it cheaper. Once you pay for the shipping, yeah, good luck.